Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Check it out, man. We got the I Grind Hard shirts in the uh, shop, man. I, I done collaborated with Man Man Grind Hard to do his joints, man. Hey, I Grind Hard. Go on over there. The link is in the description. Copy some merch. We got the sleeveless shirts, or you know, the, the uh, sleeveless shirts. We got the regular sleeve shirts too. And hey, and if you want to wear these joints to the gym. Oh, we got the tank tanks. Hey, the tank tanks is clean, clean. So we got them in black and white. If you all want it in any other color, anything like that, just let me know. But uh, I think black and white gonna be the most, the most popular one. Hey, man, I wore these joints to the gym today, and hey, you can wear it out in public because hey, it's just like grind hard is a way of life, and we all know that we all grind hard because we all grinding for something. So uh, go on over there, check out, cop some merch, get yourself a shirt, shirt, and uh, you know, show some support for the people, man. Especially from a dog, man, man, grind hard. And, uh, you know, if you see anything else over there, let me know. I'll be doing my merch. Uh, it's going to be coming soon, man, a lot of my own stuff. But I've just been making different designs and stuff like that for y'all uh, to to, uh, to kind of vibe to, man. If you got any other designs that y'all, you know, go to go check out the shirt. Links in the description. Check out all the shirts. It's about 10, 15 shirts over there. Uh, I'm, the next shirt I'm going to make is the Goated shirt. We're going to have the Goated shirt up there next. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to have it up there tomorrow. But uh, these are on sale for a limited time because uh and then we're gonna raise the price on them so we just want to see if you know an introductory price on them right now they're like i think it's like 15 dollars everything normally around about 20. so uh y'all check that out but anyway that ain't what y'all came to the video for man uh even though i know y'all grind hard just like me this is what y'all came to the video for the best lockdown defender bill now a lot of people gonna tell you that the best lockdown defender bill is gonna be right here in the shooting guard category I'm gonna tell you that it's not, and I'm gonna tell you why it's not. Everybody in 2K, okay, so if you know anything about how the badges are dropped when you get a Hall of Fame or if you get defensive stop or anything like that, the badges that you drop are one level above you, one level below you, and then right on the same level that you're on, right? So if you choose a shooting guard, you're gonna drop the badges of a shooting guard, you're gonna drop the badges of a point guard and you're gonna drop the badges of a small forward, right? That sounds like a good idea because it's like, hey, if I'm playing shooting guard, I can lock down all the perimeter positions. That would be right. But I feel like you'll do a whole lot more damage if you go hit a small forward. Why? Because we've already seen the consensus from the community that what? Nobody's making a shooting guard, I mean a point guard, and nobody's making a center. So if nobody's making a point guard really and only a few people are gonna make a center, you shouldn't be defending the center anyway. This is my logic. You're gonna drop the badges of the most dangerous people of the people that have the most potent scoring badges. There's, I don't think a center and I don't think a point guard have anything gold, right? So if they don't have gold shooting badges, then um, unless they're peers or what have you. So if they don't have gold shooting badges, then what are you gonna really drop? The most dangerous positions are the, are the shooting guard, and they are power forward. Those are the really two scoring positions. And then the small forwards, they have a lot of uh, a lot of scoring badges as well. So if you go with small forward, and like I said, the consensus has already been that nobody's gonna make a point guard this year, or nobody's gonna make centers really. I'm gonna make a center and I'm gonna make a small forward and I'm gonna make a point guard, but hey, that's just me. But most of the community is not. So the badges that you're gonna drop are gonna be the most dangerous badges. You're gonna go in here, this is what I would say to you. This is just me. I would make a 6'10", small forward, complete, pure lockdown defender if you don't want to score. This is going to be hands down the best lockdown defender bill. I'm going to show you why right here. We're just going to go straight defending and straight defending. If you go straight defending defending, this is what you're getting. You're getting defensive stopper on Hall of Fame. Charge Card Hall of Fame. I won't care about that. Pickpocket Hall of Fame. Chase down artists and bruises. You're going to have people on Gatorade. Instantly, they're gonna literally make one or two moves against you and they're gonna be done. That stamina bar is gonna be blinking. And like I said, because most of the community is only gonna make fours and twos this year, you're gonna be able to defend fours. You're gonna you're really gonna be able to defend anything on the floor because you're gonna drop the badges of twos, you're gonna drop the badges of threes, and you're gonna drop the badges of fours. That's the only thing that the community is really making. If you're you shouldn't be on a center anyway. If you're in the area of a center or something like that, or if you're in the area of a four, you're gonna drop his badges anyway, or you just he your defense, you may not drop his badges, but your defense 
the defensive rating should be enough that the radius goes up and he sees you on defense and it's gonna make it go down. I promise you that's how it works. I drew a diagram one day about what you can't see or how defensive style works. If y'all want that diagram, let me know in the comments and I will draw that diagram and uh, show you guys how it actually works tomorrow, how defensive stopper and the other badges work. But uh, anyway, so you got, you're gonna be able to drop everybody's badges. Like I said, if you go up against a point guard and you're 6'10 and you're a small forward and you can't stop him, uh, you may not be able to stop the anchor breaker on the perimeter or what have you, but you're gonna be able to chase him down. Your arm should be long enough. You should match with this bill. You're not gonna be able to shoot anyway. You're not really looking to shoot the ball. I will match the arm length out or leave it even just depending on, just depending on. I don't really know what we can do with the arms right now because I don't know what what the shooting is going to be like like we can we can speculate what the shooting is going to be like but we really don't know uh at this point in time look at your mid range is is, is only going to go up to what's that's going to be it's only going to go up to seven and then you're going to get one two three four five more so you're going to be at like a 12 mid range it's probably going to be like a 70 your three probably going to be like in the 60s so you don't even worry about that your dunks and your layups are really going to be your bread and butter uh, with this bill, you might be able to hit a wide open three. A lot of people are saying you should use, you should make him a shooting guard because you can get that corner specialist on, um, on, on silver. I don't care about, bro. Uh, I, I'm not looking to shoot the ball with this bill. Any offense that this bill gives you is a pure luxury. You shouldn't be looking to score with him. But look at the look at the badges that you actually do get. Right, you get defensive stopper. You get charge cards, you get pickpocket. Like I said, you get pick dodger. Chase down artist. If a point guard gets by you, um, you're gonna chase it down. You're gonna block it every time. You're gonna, like I said, he's not gonna be able to make any moves on you anyway. You're not gonna drop his badges with defensive stopper, but Bruiser will definitely wear him out. And then you're gonna have quick reflexes. Then you got Lob City Finisher. You got gold rim protector. So nobody's gonna dunk on you really like that. And if, like I said, if the guy gets by you, rim protector and chase down artists is gonna kick in. You're gonna block that shot. And uh, you got brick wall, so gold brick wall. Then you got posterizer, put back king, hustle rebounder on silver. This build is pretty doggone broken. Then you got relentless finisher, free throw ace, and corner specialist. The only thing that will be nicer on him will be like a pick and roller badge, but that's gonna come. That's gonna come to my to the next build that I'm gonna talk about right here. Now, if you don't want this guy right here and you want to be able to do something. I'm telling you, the next one up, you know, as far as, I'm, I'm ranking them from, from you know, now now we're going to go from worst to first. Driving and defending, I think you actually get pick and roller with this guy. Uh, yeah, you get pick and roller. So, if you go driving and defending, driving and finishing, and then you go defending. The reason I say this, if you're going to put defense first, you might as well go pure defense. If you're going to put defense first, because you're not going to be able to really do anything else. So if you put defense first, if you put defense first, go full defense. That's what I'm going to go. I'm going to go pure. I'm going full on lockdown. I'm putting on for the lockdowns. This will be LDU this year, Lockdown University. So y'all come over here and y'all check that out. But uh, Live City Finisher, look at this. You get Posterizer, Acrobat, Teardropper. This, this, this bill right here, you can finish but I, I feel like this is just if you really, really, really want to finish. You will be able to finish with that other build, uh, like just like you were in 17. You might not be able to shoot threes like BTR or Steffel, but you're going to be able to finish. But hey, Charles Card, Pick Dodge, everything is going to be on gold. Chase down artists. You get one man fast break, you're not getting caught on the open floor. Um, you know, teardropper. I mean, you get Tyler score, put back team, pick and roller so you can finish at the rim. Then you're going to get defensive stopper. Like I said, these badges are going to be on, on silver. This is probably the next one. And then you're not gonna get your gold rim protecting anything like that. I feel like this is the second worst one. This is the second, uh, this is, would be the worst one because if you go defense and defense, you pretty much are getting this. The one thing that you do though, if you go with this build, you're gonna get 99 speed. I mean, you're gonna get max speed, max acceleration, uh, almost max strength. Um, and you know, you're gonna get nearly max blocks and all of that. So when you really look at it, what you're giving up, if you go with this one, you're just going, you're giving up some posterizing, some posterization. But I really feel like you'll be able to do the same thing. You're going, but, you know, if you got blocks and all of that good stuff, I feel like the reason that this one is the second worst build to go, it's a really good build, but I'm just saying from worst to first, I feel like that if you're going to do this, you might as well do do 
defense and defense. Because if you do defense and defense, you're gonna get more rebounding, you're gonna get more steals. You're gonna give your, your team more second chance uh, points, and you're gonna be able to dunk anyway. I promise you with this beer. The next the next one is, is obviously post scoring, but you're a small forward, so if you're gonna do that, this is the next best one because you get more dunks, you get more layups. If you're gonna do anything, I will go with post score in second, two way post score. Uh, like I said, you get more dunks, more layups, your speed doesn't max out all the way, and, and you're gonna take a real big hit there. But you can, you're gonna be more of a threat offensively. The third one, this ball handling and defending, this is actually is pretty good because you, you're gonna be an offensive threat just because you can handle the rock. You may not be able to speed boost, you may not be able to do all that good stuff, but you'll be some type of a threat because uh, playmaking makes you kinda all around. I feel like if you go with this bill and you make him short enough, you'll be a terror because you're going to be able to bully guards. And like, let's say you make this guy 6'6". Six, six. You're going to bully guards because you're going to be stronger and all of that good stuff. You're going to out-rebound all the guards. And uh, and like I said, you'll be able to hit open shots. And the main thing, you're probably going to be running the point. So you'll be, you're going to have max speed, max acceleration. Your speed with the ball may not be the best, but you're still going to be able to bully guards. And then, like I said, look at look at the badges that you get. I mean, you get ankle breaker, pick and roll, maestro. Everything is still gold. So if let's say if you play this guy right here and he's actually playing point guard, he's going to bully guards. If you go down there and you miss the shot, you're going to get put back king, relentless finisher, hustle, rebound, the rim protector. You are going to absolutely bully guards if you do this, especially if they make the uh, the, uh, the pterodactyl arm or the raptor guards or what have you. And then you're going you're gonna to use your, your defensive badges to terrorize them also. You got defensive stop and charge card, pick dodge, all those on bronze. But you have all your playmaking badges. You might be able to break their ankle. They're not going to be able to break your ankle. You're going to be able to chase them down. They're not going to catch you in the open floor, things like that. Now, the next one is my personal favorite. Is one and one a three point shooting because I feel like three point shooting and the two way are are the second best because you're gonna stretch the floor and you're gonna get your team extra possessions. If you're able to if you're able to stretch the floor and get your team extra possessions, that's gonna be good. But the main thing with this one is you got to get at least one or two steals a game. You got to get at least one or two blocks a game. Uh, because you got to use these now your badges are going to be on goal you're going to get gold corner special this is the build that i'm actually going to make first the first day and then i'm going to turn right around and make the defend and defending build so you're going to have gold corner specialist gold deep range dead eye gold limitless range um pick and popper tireless tireless score so you can run around and still score on goal catch and shoot on goal uh free throw ace and quick reflexes on goal and then you're gonna get mid-range dead eye. I didn't shoot, I, didn't, I never got mid-range dead eye all year. We actually get teardropper this year. You get defensive stopper, you're gonna get charge card, pick and pick dodger, pick pocket. I mean, and you're gonna be you're gonna have bruiser, and also you're gonna have chase down artists, and you get a slew of bronze badges, difficult shots, lob city finisher, posterizer on a shooting bill, put back king on a shooting bill, hustle rebounder on a shooting bill. Up and under specialist on a shooting bill, rim protector and brick wall on a shooting bill. These things are gonna help you get open. You're gonna be able to set a brick wall screen and pop out corner and pop to the corner and let it fly. I guarantee if you're taking shots with this oak with this guy right here, I shot 64% with this bill this year. Hopefully I can do the same thing. But if you're really looking for an absolute beast out of all of them, I still put this one right here above this one because you get a whole lot more speed and everything is just like just so balanced you can go to the rim you're gonna be able to shoot threes at a seven it's probably his three's probably gonna max out at like a 75 this three probably gonna max out at like an 85 or like right at 80 this build is probably gonna max out a little bit below 70, but your mid-range, you're gonna be able to hit mid-ranges, you're gonna be able to dunk on people, you're gonna be able to go to the rim, your passing is gonna be decent, you'll be able, you'll be decent at ball handling, your rebounding is up, look, steals are up, look at this, look at this, blocks are up, look at the vertical compared to that. You start out with 17, this guy starts out with 14. Lateral quickness, you start out with 17, he maxes out like 20. But you, you still, you know, you're going to max out like what? 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Well, you're going to max out at 21. I maxed out at, what, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, so you're still going to be a little bit more 
ahead of him in max. But that's why I'm saying I'm ranking them the way that I'm ranking them. The speed, the raw speed is crazy. The acceleration is stupid compared to this. You're gonna have more strength. And then, like I said, the stamina, but this is more like an all-around build. I played against some of these guys this year, and they were absolute terrorists. I hated to see them coming because I knew it was going to be hell for me to get open shots. And then they could actually, I didn't know what they were going to do on offense because they could hit open threes. They could hit, uh, they could dunk. They could go to the rim. They could make stupid layups. Look at the badges, man. Mid-range dead eye on goal. Difficult shots on goal. Tyler Scorer on goal. Lob City Finisher on goal. Teardropper on gold. Up and under specialist on gold. This guy is a mid-range assassin and a near-the-bucket assassin, right? And quick reflexes on gold. Then you got corner specialist, catch and shoot on silver. That might be all you need, really, is a silver catch and shoot and silver corner specialist. If you're wide open, then you're going to get the boost and you're going to get Hall of Fame down the past. He's going to be crazy. Posterizer, acrobat, putback king on silver. Just look at how stupid this is. Put back King on silver. You can, if you made this and you were trying to actually play the point, you could probably bully guards with this. You miss it, you're gonna get it. Put back King on silver. Relentless finisher on silver. You're not stopping him going to, to the rim, really. Uh, especially with how you can time your layups. Drop stepper. Defensive stopper. Obviously, obviously you're gonna get all defensive badges on silver. Pickpocket on silver. Chase down artist and bruiser. One man fast break on silver. You're not catching them in the open floor. And then you got free throw ace. And then you got deep range dead eye. He gets limitless range on bronze. Ankle breaker on bronze. Hustle rebounder, rim protector, and brick wall. Like, this dude right here is actually low key broken. So, the way that I would do it. Now let's look at, we didn't look at the post score bands. The post score has some bands too. They got difficult, difficult shots on goal, relentless finish on goal, post spin technician. You want to make him 16 if you're going to do this. Um, I'm just going to tell you straight up. Brick wall on goal, bruiser. He can score a lot better. This this guy actually is pretty tough. Mid-range dead eye. I'm just, I'm just going through lob city finish. The posterizer on silver, acrobat on silver. Like he can score. This is a score. This is somebody that if he catches the ball, he can score. Break start. I didn't even know you get break start. That's crazy. Bro, he gets dimer? This one, this one just moved up. Hustle rebounder? Defensive stopper. Okay, so if I was going to rank these, this one actually just went up because, and he gets put back king and pick and roller and rim protector. And look at how high his layups are. Those layups go all the way up. Dunks go all the way up. You're going to be able to hit mid ranges with this guy. He's just a little bit slower. So the way that I would rank these, once again, is going to be like this. If you're going to make a lockdown, do this. Defending, defending is going to be the most broken, ridiculous, just people get pissed off at you, Bill, in the entire game. That's what that's going to be. If you're going to make the next one that you should make from worst to first will be driving and finishing. Because, like I said, you can already dunk. You can already, with this with this one, I really feel like with this one, you can do anything you can do with this one, but you don't get the Hall of Fame badge. So, it's this one. Then you go driving and finish. Then, the fourth worst, I mean, you know, from worst to first, is going to be ball handling. You're going to be able to bully guards. You're going to be able to do all of that. But if you're not planning on being a ball handler, then that's why this one, I feel like, is, is bad. But it's still better than the last one because the last one is... It's pretty much the same defending, defending. Then I'm putting post scoring in front of the playmaking because this guy, this has way too much scoring potential. Like this guy can literally do almost everything as far as getting close to the rim. I feel like he got way more scoring potential than, than the other ones. Then the three point shooter because you stretch the floor and you're able to play defense. And the best one is gonna be this one, the shot creating, uh, the shot creating, uh, two-way shot creator. I might almost put that post score one in front of the three-pointer, but the three-pointer is going to be so important because if nobody can shoot it and you can defend the three ball and you can score it, and this guy can score in a myriad of different ways, I'm telling you, this is going to be one of the one of the bills you hate to see coming, the two-way shot creator, because he still has offense. Like, you don't know. He's unpredictable on offense. You know what the three-point shooter is going to do, and you know what the, the defending post scoring and the driving guy is going to do. But the post scoring, 
he's going to shoot mid-range, so he's going to be kind of unpredictable as well. But the three-pointer, just because he can stretch the floor, he may be predictable, but if you, if you leave him open, he's going to knock down the three, and that's always more dangerous than somebody that can score in the paint. So from worst to first, like I said, and then obviously this is the king of all of them. So if you're not going to make defending defending, then go driving defending last and playmaking defending. Then go post scoring if you don't like scoring. If you like scoring inside, either post scoring or shot creating. If you want to stretch the floor, go with the three pointer. And that's that's how I would do it. I will show you guys the uh, centers tomorrow, but this video is already too long. I just wanted to kind of get you guys some information on the uh, lockdown defenders and how I rank them. This is going to be lockdown university. I'm telling you, I'm going to have everything for lockdown defenders. If you want to play better defense in this game or you want to see lockdown defender builds. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button because that's what we're going to be showing y'all. All of my bills this year. I was locked down university this year. Every bill I made was a two-way. So I'm going to make all the two ways. And I'm going to show you why if you're going to make a, defend, a defensive guy tomorrow, we're going to show you why if you're going to make a defensive guy, why you want to go with a center instead of a power forward. But uh, that's all I got for all, got for y'all today, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. hope it wasn't too long. Hey, y'all, make sure y'all go. And uh, it seems like we're at a press conference anyway. Y'all make sure y'all go. It's number five. It ain't that only six. All right, y'all make sure y'all grow and cop some grind hard gear, man. Make sure you cop one of these right here. Like I said, it's on sale for 24 hours. Uh, this time tomorrow, they're going to go up to like 20 bucks, man. So, uh, And if you get it ordered by tomorrow, I'll get it out tomorrow too, man. So I'm, I press them, I make them, I do them all right here. If you wanted to say something else, if y'all got some other ideas, we're going to have the goaded t-shirt tomorrow. So, you know, that'll be out there. And uh, y'all let me know what else y'all want. If y'all got any other ideas, we got it. I'm in my bag. It's the green. We got all that good stuff. And um, if you got some stuff that you think, you, should, you know, some stuff that also translates to real life. I, I wear this shirt in real life because I feel like it really translates to what we all trying to do. It transcends the game. I grind hard. I'm in the gym. I grind hard. I'm on the game. I grind hard. So, you know, it is what it is, man. That's what it is. It's not just a shirt. It's just a way It's a way of life. And I think everybody can actually relate to it. But I've not already talked too much, man. I hope if you're making a lockdown defender, this helped you out. But I swear to God, man, yo, if you're going to do this one, the driving and defending, just do this and be judicious about how you dunk. You're not going to. Like, I just don't think that this guy is going to catch any bodies that this guy couldn't catch if he just took took smart dunks. Like, he might, this guy might be able to do stupid dunks, but this guy's going to be able to dunk on people in a smart way. And, then and, and, you know, if, if you don't plan on taking any contested dunks, then there's no reason to uh, to do this guy over this guy. But I swear, this guy with this athleticism, with the max vertical, he may be able to catch some crazy bodies. But, I mean, this guy gets max vertical, too. He just doesn't get the dunks. Anyway, I haven't talked too long, man. Uh, Y'all, like I said, link is in the description. Copy some merch, and I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! I'm telling you, the 610 small forward. Somebody hit me up and, and I told him, keep that, keep that dude away from me unless you're on my team. 610 small forward is gonna shut down a lot of people because everybody making twos and fours and he can and he can guard a two, four, and a three. And he can just shut their badges down. Nobody's making ones and you shouldn't be defending the center anyway. <laughs>